and hopefully I won't get any more phone calls. And if you're an expert on YouTube live streams, what normally happens? How do you stop the whole thing freezing once you get a, an incoming phone call? Because it drives me batty. Uh, yeah, membership advantages. You get free wallpapers. You get uh, raw photos from my day's shootings. And they come up um, normally midweek, I get a chance to. No, Melbourne's not going to go ahead. And I'll go to your comments here for those people who have come back for the third time. And I don't think I'll get any more um, phone calls. Whereabouts are you staying for Silverstone? Uh, still not sure yet. I've got two places. And I won't make my mind up until the last minute. Why do you have a stream at the same time as Tom? Because <laughs> I've got no idea. I'm sure I've got streams as... as with millions of other people, I've got no idea what other people are doing. And I wouldn't suggest they'd have any idea what I'm doing. <clears throat> In fact, I wasn't going to do this until Wednesday, but I've not been able to do a video because it's uh, I've been so tired. Lando's penalty. Uh, I, like, I haven't even seen the incident. I don't know. But yeah, I do like the, the fun stuff on social media at the moment. It's a penalty for you and a penalty for you. It's a penalty for everyone. What am I going to do between now and Silverstone? I'm probably going to just sit in this hotel room and do videos and go for a wander around Bucharest, see what it's like. <clears throat> it's, um, <laughs> I've got a couple of interesting stories in my travel video which I will put up probably on Wednesday. Now do I have any of my good moderators on here? Because uh, if I do, um, I will not worry about the comments and if I don't, I'll have to moderate myself. If you go to Mon Monza in September, can you see the track without getting a ticket to the race? No, no idea. Anyone else answer Tom's question there? I wouldn't have thought so. Never done any AFL photography, Finn. Not, not even a minute of it. The penalty GP, yes. Oh, what? No sound? You sure? Everyone, are you getting sound, people? Book arrest for two weeks? No, it's not two weeks, it's ten days. I'll go on the Wednesday prior. Yeah, I must have rushed from the track to reach on to... Oh, yeah, I did have to go straight after the race. Sound is good. Okay, maybe someone else is having a problem. Which turns were I... was I at? Which turns was I at? I was turn one to start. Then I went to... And, in fact, I walked up to three. And I would never do that again because it's awful. Treacherous, long, hot. And killed too much time. Uh, then I shot... Exit of one, no, exit of three, entry of three, then I went to the last corner. So that's pretty much it. How do I find in Bucharest? It was bloody hot last night, which caused me to wake up early. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, today, it's a beautiful day outside, but I've just done nothing but work. That's the deal. Uh, temperature, a lot cooler, maybe 31 instead of 39. How many minutes? I reckon it took a good 15 because it was through a whole lot of jungly shit. And there's a couple of spots where you had to you know, be like a mountain goat. Were the fans well behaved? Yes, and they had to be warned many times to stop letting off flares. And uh, I don't even know whether that had any effect because the flares were quite, quite um, impactful. They look great, absolutely great. How do you find out that tracks are being removed? Uh, we talk in the media centre, and look, there's a lot of people who get advance warning. There'd be people in Teams Logistics. Um, there'd be a whole lot of people who are consulted in the decision, and they talk, and then suddenly the word spreads out, and then you get a general feel. But Australia is making some sort of move towards easing entry conditions, I think. Well, they've got a plan going forward but I don't think it's going to be in time for the Australian GP. And hence, I don't reckon we'll be going there. Sadly, because I really would love to get back to Australia and it would be great to see my family, but at this stage, no, not going to happen. Have I ever met the drivers and had a talk? Yeah, I speak to a number of them. Do you own any team kit? Oh, I was given a nice Alpha Tauri hat by the Alpha Tauri people. As a thank you for something and uh, signed by both drivers. But no, I don't have much of that stuff. 
sometimes I wouldn't mind a, a rain jacket if it's a wet day and I've got nothing, it'd be nice of them to throw one of those around, but that's not going to happen. Who was the most excited driver coming in? Uh, no, I can't say that any of them were excited. I did think that Charles was excellent talking to people on the green carpet. So was Daniel, so was Fernando. Lewis didn't do it on any of the days. Valtteri did it the second day quickly, not the first. Who else? Esteban was good. Uh, Yuki, <clears throat> pretty quick, just in and out. I don't think he relished the opportunity. And I can't run through every driver, but I'll talk a bit about that in my next video, that setup, because it was quite interesting how it was set up and what those stations were worth. Ever spoken to Fernando? Yeah, I actually mentioned to Fernando on uh, Saturday that he and Daniel were the standout performers on that green carpet. They, to me, were the most open and engaged has the paddock buzzed a lot because of Lewis's news? No, not really. Uh, more so about his fashion, really. Everyone's excited for the fact that he's dressing up and um, putting an effort in. And I'll talk a bit about that in my next video too. Phil Francis is a member. Thank you, Phil. Keep missing your live streams as working. Just to say, loved your Moscow video. Yeah, it was a ripper, wasn't it? Uh, I don't know how this one's going to turn out. I inadvertently deleted three clips. Might be able to get them back off the camera, we'll see. But this is very hard to find, and I found it in the duty free store here in Bucharest, coming in at a pretty good price. Is the paddock looking forward to the British? Yeah, they're all looking forward to the British GP. And yes, I am looking forward to the new format too. I don't like going to Silverstone, but I think there'll be tremendous interest on every day. Yes, I'm in Bucharest, Florent, and uh, what I saw last night reminded me a little bit of Melbourne. Can't tell you why, but I just had a Melbourne feeling. Am I coming to Brazil? Well, I don't, well, yeah, look, if, the, if it's on, I'm coming, but I doubt we'll be going there. I'd like to go there because I, I like the people, and whilst I don't love the track that much, uh, I like the trip because there's a week off afterwards, and I can go to Rio, and I really liked Rio last time. How come you're in Hungary? No, I'm not in Hungary. And I'm not even hungry because I had a beautiful salad for lunch. How do you like my steak cooked? Medium. Uh, what are my notes here? Uh, the flares, I mentioned that. Oh, I, how many of you are coming to Silverstone? Because somebody suggested it would be a good idea to arrange some sort of photo with as many members, subscribers, or even Insta followers at a certain place and time at the track where you guys meet, and I can't technically be, I can't mix with you, but I, from a distance I can certainly take a photo. And you may want to let me know, uh, do you think it's a good idea? How many, oh, yeah, fan meeting, exactly, Florent. Uh, <clears throat> I'm in Oz, says someone else. Vettel's birthday yesterday, yes. Do you think George will move to Mercedes? Well, no, I think, I don't think George knows if he's gonna to go to Mercedes and I don't think Valtteri knows either what's happening there. But I think if Lewis gets a big say, George won't be there. That's what my opinion is anyway. Have I touched an F1 car? Yes, and I photographed them very close up too. Uh, I don't know about whether sprint racing will take away, but I like the idea of racing. Racing on Saturday is great, I think. Or was it Friday? Yeah, it's quality on Friday, racing Saturday. Hello, Bergamo, Italy. Nice to see you here. What did you think about Lando's unfair penalty? Well, look, I haven't even watched it yet. You've got to understand that yesterday, uh, I did park Fermé, and that was great, except they wouldn't open the bloody gate to let us in um, early. We're very lucky to get any photos. Uh, but made it in there, got those photos of Lando and of um, Max, who was my live stream thumbnail picture. And then straight after, I waited for the drivers to walk across the track and it never happened. And I probably put in 25 minutes. And then I thought, right, I've got to go to the airport. So I went back and I downloaded two pictures for a client. And then I got into my car and I drove for two hours and 10 minutes. I mean, two hours and 20, and then I stop for 15 minutes to repack all of this crap that you 
probably I've just moved it so you can't see it, but there's a little bit of crap there. I've had to. Um, then, then I got on the plane uh, and I flew here, and then I had a bit of drama at the airport, and that cost me another 20 minutes. I uh, came back to the hotel and I went pretty much straight to sleep after I edited for 20 minutes. And this morning I've spent all this time moving over to this room and doing work, so I haven't had a chance really to do too much. In answer to uh, that question there, international driver's license, you don't need them anymore. Just your home license is uh, fine to hire a car anywhere. Uh, do you have any homes outside Australia? No, and I would never ever buy one. And I've wasted enough money on homes in Australia, let alone outside. Any upcoming vlogs similar to Azerbaijan to France? Yeah, I've got a travel video every time I do a travel, I do a video. And I've done a lot of the shooting for it. I just have to edit it on Wednesday. I'll do another video tomorrow about behind the scenes at this race. So I have some good stories for you there. Uh, thank you, Heath. I will have a good week. It'll be relax. Well, it's relaxing is not walking around in um, the heat, carrying cameras and shooting. Is there any F2 driver you want in F1? No, I don't, I don't care who's in F1. When do you arrive in the UK? Sometime before Wednesday. Hello, a new member. Hello, Lone Ranger. Welcome on board. Nice to see you here. Uh, not tired of traveling yet, but having done the, the two, oh, well, three races in two and a half weeks, this is lovely to be able to know that I've got 10 days here and I can fix a whole lot of stuff because stuff goes wrong and there's no time to fix. For instance, like I've got all these macros on this little bizzo here that uh, some of them don't work and I just don't have a chance to fix them. So I'm now going to spend some time doing that. Uh, what can I tell you about Lando? He's an aggressive driver when he comes into the paddock. He likes to screech the tires a bit. Hello to Oka. Welcome, OKA okay, Oka. But yeah, he, he likes to have a bit of fun as he comes into the car park on a, or well, Saturday and Sunday I noticed him do it. And he does smile and he and John have a bit of a giggle. Great kid. Uh, very good product, Lando. Very marketable. Netflix, who were they following? I can't remember what clothes they had on. Uh, I honestly can't remember. No, it'll be an Albania to Spielberg and then here. It'll be one video for the three. Kim, I need to have dinner now. Okay, off you go. Dinner, you'll be what, west, east of us, wherever that is. What equipment do you use to edit your videos while you're traveling? I use Final Cut Pro on my Mac, but it gobbles up a lot of um, hard drive. Is my son on here? Boys, are you here? Uh, the other day they were putting in some funny comments that I didn't see. Southeast Asia, yes, of course. What do you think would be your biggest learning of the season? Learning? Oh, I don't know what that question means. Have, it, it would have to be something I've learnt by now because I don't know what I'm going to learn in the next few months. Uh, no, I, I'll pass on that one. Yes, I know Daniel Ricardo's parents very well. They're lovely people, good fun. They love uh, fine Italian food. Hello to Daniel from Brisbane. Nice to have you along here. I don't even know. Uh, somebody's asking, a couple of you are asking, who's going to win the Euro? I, uh, is there a game in Bucharest? I know there's some signage coming in. I wouldn't have thought they'd get any of the big games, though, would they? Too small a country for that. I did own a Wankel rotary engined Mazda RX-7 when I was about 22. Loved it. Uh, look, I know the British guys are pretty happy with their 4-0 win uh, earlier in the week, or a few days ago. They were all buoyed by that. So I'd probably go for Britain, England, whatever they're called. When can we see Danny Rick back in form? Well, I think he did pretty well in the race, didn't he? He went from 13 to 7. That's a fair effort. Not sure what he needs to do in quali, but... Uh, he's showing glimpses of the greatness, and we'll um, keep our fingers crossed that he bounces back. Hi, Singapore. Now, I believe in Singapore, they've decided, and this is a prudent move, I suggest, to treat COVID just like the flu. People are going to get the flu normally, 
Some are going to die from it yet, but we're not going to disrupt the rest of the community. We're going to go back to some semblance of normality in Australia. Has to do that at some point. What's my favourite airline? Emirates is pretty good, mainly because I fly long hauls with them in nice seats, but my Austrian flight was all right last night. Nice little quick meal, better than the first flight I took with them. Huh. There's a story there, I get out to the airport, and hi, I'm off to Bucharest. Oh, we don't have a flight. What? Bucharest, yeah. Have you got a booking? Yes, show them this. Oh yeah, here it is, here it is. Didn't even know what flights they had going out. They make F1 season even better, the videos. Oh, thank you for that. Why did we have the same track twice? That's because Istanbul had to be cancelled and they didn't want to lose a race and it was easy to push France forward a week and put in the, the second race here. Darwin's NT here. Chris, I used to live in Darwin and I did five years on radio up there. Thoroughly loved it. Been thinking to move from Indonesia to Australia. Well, you won't get in at the moment, Oka. It's, uh, it's a closed shop. And somebody also told me, any Americans here? Because I was told that there's no guarantee that if you wanted to go and watch a race in America, that you would be able to get into the country. Now, obviously, F1 and all of us get an exemption letter to go in. But what about just a general spectator? Can they come to the United States to watch a race? Uh, I've got a couple of places booked in Silverstone and I'll cancel one of them closer to the date. Will you do a What the Drivers? Yes, I will, um, Layla, because I took great notes on my phone <clears throat> and there is uh, yeah, there's some interesting stuff and I've got a couple of the cars that the team principals were coming in, so yes. Yes from the USA, okay. Who's my favourite team principal? Mm. Favourite? Uh, I like Gunter. Uh, he's always friendly. In fact, yeah, Toto is business-like, just gets on with the job. Christian's got a new PA. I met her. Oh, what's her f name? Actually, got somewhere here. I sent myself a message, didn't I? Yeah, Fiona Hewitson is his new PA, and she was um, chatty and delightful the other day. And I put up my Women of the Paddock post. Did you see that? Yeah, right. I'll sort out this sass next time I see that one come up. Thank you for alerting me. Members, you are um, very handy people because the green ones get my attention. If you want to jump to the head of the uh, queue, make sure you super chat or become a member. Will women of the paddock return uh, videos? Mm, I don't think I've got enough for a video. It's very hard getting that content because I've done, you know, in the first few races I did all the big names and don't want to do them every week. It's just getting a little bit trickier. But, but there are a lot of VIPs and invited guests. Oh, thank you very much, James, for putting SAS into a timeout. Uh, remember to hit the like button. Yes, this is interesting. We've got 368 people, but just 93 likes. So let's do that as a little exercise. Could you all just take a break and press the like button? Only press it once, because if you press it more than once, it takes it off. How taxing was it for you the past three weeks? Yeah, it was pretty taxing having to bloody go out of the country and come back in again. And I've got a couple more of those trips coming up shortly too that I don't relish. Why do I put photos for less than a second of some people? Hmm, don't know. Don't know, just happens. It's a thing. Of course, it used to be called subliminal advertising many, many years ago, one frame out of 24. And uh, at least you're getting two frames instead of one. When are the pics from the Austrian GP going to be uploaded? They're all up there now. Oh, no, the Raws, no, Wednesday. Uh, what is my favorite and least favorite city travel to? Hmm. Uh, what comes to mind? That, that's a tough question. Because there's no, there's no one standout at the top or the bottom. Uh, I, look here, China. I don't like going to Shanghai one bit. Um, so I'll just say I don't like Shanghai that much. And I don't know what my favourite city is. Favourite road car. 
I drove a Mercedes A-Class. It was a manual. That was the car that I had last, or oh, two days ago, a day or so ago. It was a nice car. It had a bit of punch. But, no, oh, I don't know. I like my 911 Turbo. It's a good car. Do you have any good ca No, I don't have any idea about what cameras are like, except for my two. And if you do get the 1DX Mark III, and you can get the uploading to the internet working perfectly, I would love to have a chat with you because at the end of the race, I took a photo of Lando, which I thought was great because it summed up the moment. And I press send on my camera and I just waited and I waited and minutes go by and it's saying it's gonna be a 23 minute upload. So I canceled that and I tried again. And in the end, it took 30 minutes of dicking around to finally get that photo up. And that's what I need to work quicker. In fact, I've uh, made some inquiries with Canon and maybe, maybe they'll have an answer. Well, you are in Bucharest. I am in Bucharest. I started my first, I did my first F1 race, Games Freak, in, what was it, March of uh, 2017, in answer to your question. I did no races last year, because almost all of us photographers were not welcome. Hi from St. Petersburg, you're getting a GP in a couple of years, nice. Yes, we had a shuttle this weekend, but it doesn't get you everywhere, but it gets you a lot of the places. We had a shuttle in um, La Castellet, uh, shuttles in Next Race. I don't ever use a Gimbal Milton, no. Nope. Akshit Nahar, please don't spam. So maybe Clive can put that person into a timeout as well. Thank you. Why not go to the straight to the, because if I go straight to England, I have to sit in the hotel because I can only go from the hotel to the track. And there's no hotels that I would stay in at a reasonable rate in England that I'd want to spend 10 days in. So here, I can, I've got no real restrictions on my movement. Uh, outside you don't have to wear masks, inside you do. And it's just a better deal. Better deal all round. Who's my favourite driver? I don't really have a favourite. I, I, like I like all of them that I know. There's a few that I've never spoken to and uh, maybe one day I will. Best cuisine I've had this year. I'm thinking some steaks I had in Bahrain were pretty good. Uh, the, and what I always recollect is the pasta from the co-op store in Imola. It was about five or six euros and it was world class. Should have stayed in Ireland. Yeah, but I couldn't get a, see, here's the thing. It has to be somewhere that I can fly out on the Sunday night. So when you go to Vienna airport and you have a look at the flights that leave on a Sunday night that go out of Schengen, unless I want to go back to, I don't know, Dubai, well, Dubai is red list, I wouldn't go there. There were three, there's Bucharest, there's another one starting with B, what is that one? And Tirana, so there were three What's the other one? Belgrade. And I looked at Belgrade and this one, and when I got out to the airport and that check-in person said, oh, we don't have a flight, I thought, no way. Um, and if that was the case, and I'd made a mistake, perhaps I was just gonna book and go back to Tirana because they had a flight 40 minutes later. I've never seen that track, Caleb, out at Tail and Bend. In fact, I don't think I've ever even been to Tail and Bend, and I lived in Adelaide for 21 years. I won't be staying at Buckingham Palace, Vanch, I'm pretty sure about that. You need to visit Brasov in Romania. Where is that? And I have to go and have it. I'm going to do a photo tomorrow in front of the big parliament building here, that's the heaviest building in the world. And you might have seen that on Jeremy Clarkson's or Top Gear um, Romania special, which I've watched half of. Uh, what do I think of the Zandvoort circuit? I, I've only seen the banked corner and some pictures. I don't really know that much about it. What's your destination after Silverstone? I'm gonna to go to Croatia, I think. See if I can rent a boat. Actually, no, uh, I've got some friends that I wanna rent a boat with the week, uh, after the, um, the last race before the holidays. Uh, who else have I got here? Will there be a fan zone? I think there will be. I think there will be. It just appears that Britain's just going gangbusters and to hell with it. 
So they're allowing a full house, I think, in there, and something Australia won't do. That's why the Australian event will not go ahead. Do you think anyone else will challenge Max or Lewis next year? Now, look, if um, I could see Lando, if, if that car continues to improve, that would be great. And I think that would be very interesting for the competition to have another car and driver that could challenge those two. Ash Evans has jumped to the head of the queue here. He's from Sydney. Keep up the great content has really gotten me through the worst time in my life during COVID. I owe you a few bevies in the Aussie race in November, mate, but not November this year. It's going to be November next year, I reckon. And thank you for um, your super chat, Ash from Sydney. Uh, you're living the dream. Well, it's um, I'm not complaining, but you, it's not beer and Skittles every night. It's full on work. And as you probably know, videos take anywhere from four to seven hours to um, <laughs> to produce. What about this person's name? Poop smell a fart, Esther. Come shit a shit a come. Yeah, I don't think that's the sort of person we need on here. I don't know where Naga Land is. I've already had that question, AB does stuff. Who do you think is the best driver now? I think probably Max. Max seems to have it under control, not making silly mistakes, going well. Do you rewatch the full race? No, I watch some of the highlights when I get a chance. I have Mark III 1DXs, and I'm looking at getting the new EOS equivalent of the 1DX when that is released, and I believe that's going to be in a couple of months. And the reason I go for that, and I'd, I'd have to test shoot it, is because, uh, yes, it does more frames per second, but it has the twisty screen. And if I want to shoot on the ground, I've got to get my eye here and my chin gets on the ground, but of course, with a twisty screen like that, I can have it facing up. And I can look, to, as you, if you were shooting, you could look into there. And it's just the best thing in the world. But this camera, this EOS R, is not good enough for F1 photography. It's, okay, it's great for video, absolute killer for video, but no good for photography. I edit my videos Lone Ranger on the, uh, what is this, a Mac, MacBook Pro. Right, let's go to your questions now. I'm going to focus on your stuff. Thoughts on George possibly? Yeah, George will be great for that team. He will push, I think, a little bit harder than Valtteri, and they'll get more points. But would it destroy the relationship the two drivers have now? Would, would Lewis be battling? Would they have another Nico uh, situation, Nico um, Lewis situation? Yeah, and I did see that James, uh, Aston Martin are considering changing the colour because it's a shocking colour to photograph. As I've said numerous times here, it looks like the Mercedes, which is also a shocker to photograph, in dull light. Uh, I'm glad to know, the Oka, that I had an effect on you. Ella Din, thank you for joining the team, becoming a member, and you get some free stuff. And remember, too, if you want to pick up some of my merchandise and wear it to a race and I see you, I will definitely take your photo. Don't worry about that. And uh, thank you to those people. Anyone here was at the race on the weekend because I met some lovely people who uh, recognized me and wanted to have a quick chat. And one of those chatters, in fact, I can't get this to connect, but on my women of the paddock, there's a young girl, I think, third or fourth picture, Really nice smile, and she said hello and had a quick selfie. I thought, right, I'll take your photo, and she's in Women of the Paddock. Norris didn't deserve his penalty. Okay, well, he got it, despite the fact he didn't deserve it, he got it. You're going, Corey, to Silverstone. Nice. Uh, Silverstone is a bit of a trick for us because we have to mix with the punters, and we're not supposed to, so I don't know how they go, F1's going to sort that out. But we certainly can't be, let me just see if I can get a bit more brightness. We can't be um, associating with the public and they can't associate with us. We've got to stay in there. Semi bubbles. Do any young drivers, yes, dress well? Yes, without a doubt. 
uh, Gasly and Lando when he has a like a Thursday he'll come in and some casual kit. Yuki will wear Alpha Tauri stuff. Probably doesn't wear it quite as well as Pierre does. Uh, those are the two that stand out, and of course Lewis, who is gold standard in terms of fashion and loves it. Yes, I've only ever used Canon, but there is one brilliant photographer from uh, Getty, Clive James, and you want to see his photo he took on Saturday, go to Instagram and have a look at his photo of the orange haze in the background, killer shot. And Clive is one of the best in the world, and he used Canon for many years, and then he changed to Nikon. Now, hats off to him because there's a lot of changes you have to make when you change cameras, because Nikon is completely opposite uh, with a lot of their settings. But then for the Olympics, they have a deal with Canon where they shoot Canon and he's had to go back to Canon. So he had this weekend, in fact, that might be a story for my video. This weekend and the weekend before last, he was back on Canon kit just so he could refresh himself uh, prior to the Japanese Olympics. Hello from the Ukraine. I was nearly going to fly your Ukraine Airlines, Gino, uh, but and this was uh, coming back from Baku, but I read some terrible reviews and thought, no, I better not, I better fly with Aeroflot, which were two of the greatest flights I've had this year. Well done to them. Uh, yeah, I reckon I'll swap to the EOS R3 if I like it because of the mirrorless. I might not buy two, I might just get one. And I don't know how that would go. Whether, And I also, that well, they, Canon, need to sort out that drama with connecting via their app because you cannot transfer photos quickly from their app. With this camera, with my current camera and um, the Canon app, it's a waste of time. It's really disappointing. I'd love to buy your bucket hat. Yeah, well, um, there's one that needs to be thrown out and my wife's bringing over two more of the same because it's very important and it's got to be comfortable and it has to be a bucket hat because you can't shoot with the cap on because the camera, every time you go into this mode, and if you bang it in there, you can't, you got to push it up like that. But it has to fit not too tight, not too loose because if it's windy and that hat blows off onto the track, I'm going to look like a right prat. Hello Ireland from Paul O'Hurley. You're on Sky FP1, yes, uh, lots of people told me about that. Uh, that was on the world feed too, so that, that went everywhere. What I didn't bring any watches, Francis. And, oh yeah, I've got an Apple watch, but I, unfortunately I haven't got the, the band broke on that, so I've got nothing. Uh, no, Blaze, I'd never work for a team. It has no appeal. You get lots of photo of one team only and very little of anything else. Hello, Zaid who's now a member and you want to join if you haven't done so already because you get some benefits. And I'm doing a new video. A lot of you people, and I don't know when I'm going to do it, ask, how does it work with the financing of F1? Well, I'll lay out what I can tell you, what I've seen in a new video, and it'll only be for VIP members. So bear that in mind, that's coming up. No, my wife doesn't mind me being away. She's uh, very supportive back at that end. and is pushing with some ideas, and I don't know whether you saw my... It's a shame I have to use this camera. Well, let me just see if I can connect to the net here. I've got a uh, password I'll put in because I've started doing more of these little stop motion videos. Did you see the one I put up today on my Instagram reel? Lando Norris. Here we go. Let's see if I can just crudely play it through here. Uh, no internet connection. I can play it on here. No, I can't. Just talk amongst yourselves for a second. Nah, it's too hard. It's too hard. But anyway, go have a look at my Instagram reel and you'll see this video with Lando coming out on to the podium set to some lovely music. And the trick is to get the music because if I went and put some background music behind it and put it on YouTube, they'd knock it off. Or if it was a well-known song, a commercial track. But by using reels, they've already gone and negotiated the rights. And the beauty of it is that I just simply put a nice piece of music behind it. I can't remember what I used. Did I use Rasputin? I think I did, which I used to love as a DJ. 
in my younger years. So we are now 35 minutes into this. Was it me or did Lando Pop seem... Oh, yeah, he was... He bashed... Are you talking about the champagne pop? He bashed it on the ground. He did it with great force too. Uh, picture Dav World. Excited to get those. Yes, uh, you'll get the roars. And that's something that's proved very popular. Oh, Zaid, you've upgraded. Thank you to that. So those people who want to get that video when it comes out, and I think it will only be promoted to VIP members, so others won't be able to um, see it. Yeah, the weekend format, uh, I'm gonna be very interested to see how that works. I still don't fully understand it. I don't know what's for dinner, Thomas. I had a Caesar with chicken, Caesar salad for lunch with chicken, it was all right. Ferrari champagne, I've noticed, and it's not technically called champagne, is it? Spumante, yes. No, I, I saw, no, I didn't see Callum, and I didn't see uh, Guang Yuzhao, is it? Have you ever got scammed when traveling? Oh, no, but I've had have, have had the, uh, the gypsies in France try that ring trick for me. And they said, oh, you've, is this your ring? You've dropped it. And I said, no, I was taken to this shop and someone comes by. And, oh, don't do that. No, I was taken in there. And if they uh, claim it, they can um, give it back to them. They got very upset with that. <clears throat> any helmet videos soon? No, I can't get close enough to the drivers to get shots of any note. So that won't be happening. Yes, Brisbane and Perth out of lockdown. Sydney has a lot of COVID cases. Yeah, it's just the flu now. Just gonna have to get over it. How's book arrest? I can only tell you what I've seen out this window and out the window of the first room I had. It looked very nice at one o'clock when I drove in. Uh, nobody on the street. Oh, a few people on the streets, but the restaurants are all closed by midnight. What will I do between now and Silverstone? Edit videos. Uh, Daniel, the reason Melbourne won't go ahead is Australia won't relax the quarantine regulations for F1. And as such, F1 won't tolerate any quarantining. It's not worth it. It's too expensive for the teams and it's a pain in the ass. Uh, Sony A1 for F1. Uh, there's a couple of guys that use Sony. I've never even tried it. Adelaide's doing great during COVID, yeah, but we've got to look at how do we get out of it? How do we get out of this? We've got this in a nice old mess. What is our um, exit strategy? Dutch fans, amazing. They were so enthusiastic and the track announcer was great at winding them up as well. Orange Smoke, yeah, well, they got told off for that in the end, Blaze. They were told no more of those flares because they were a risk, a safety hazard. How's my son doing? Yeah, he's, what's he doing now? Some NFTs and a, a Bitcoin. Oh my God, he just blows me away. Yeah, who, who's spamming? Andrew Karani, right here. We'll sort him out when we see. Oh, no, message deleted by James. Thank you, James. Have you already planned your stay? Yes, I'm gonna stay out near the airport, I think. I had booked a hotel in town in Amsterdam, but I was told do not stay there. The traffic will be a nightmare. And okay, well, one day I'll get my F1 dinners going again, and we'll see you at a track. Yeah, I know the flares will be back, very hard to stop them. Once they're lit, obviously, they're, they're making a noise. And oh, I do have an interesting story for my video about media passes. And somebody also suggested that I do a video on the photos that the drivers have on their passes. So I've started to collect them and it'll take me some weeks because it's very difficult. Some of them don't even wear their passes. Uh, but we'll see, see how we go. Could be a quite an interesting video to see the photos that they have hanging around their neck. If there was, an, if there was runoff at Austria, would they still deserve penalties Pass, No idea. Do you try the street food? No, I don't try the street food at all. I don't really spend that much time eating. I did have a beautiful meal the other night after the Saturday night at a local restaurant and uh, the staff in the media center arranged it for us. It was really a lovely place. So sometimes we come across great places like that, but oftentimes it's left to the last minute. Not all the time, and then it's just like, Friday night, oh shit of a day, and I'll go through that on my travel video, but it was a very long day and it was 
all sorts of dramas. And at the 9.30, I realised I'm not going to get a meal. And I had about an hour to drive back to the apartment. So in the end, I just threw a pizza down. Who do you tend to take more pictures of? Oh, drivers that I think go well on my Instagram feed, and that'll be Lewis, Pierre, Daniel, Lando, Seb, Charles, Carlos. Yeah, drivers like Nicholas, Antonio, Lance don't get a great deal of cut through, so their photos have to be something interesting. Um, not, even Max doesn't do that well for me, and I don't know why. I was, yeah, he's very popular in Holland, but perhaps I'm not rep well represented in Holland. I don't know, but I can tell you that the picture I put up of uh, Kelly with Max was a cracker. That did twenty one thousand likes, and that's that's probably in my top twenty percent of posts. Good camaraderie between journo's and camera peeps. Yeah, everyone seems to talk. Most of them do. I, I know a lot of them, not all of them. Glad you like my travel videos. <laughs> yeah, I need an apprentice, Ash, but uh, it'll cost you a fortune. It'll cost you an absolute fortune. Where do you tend to position yourself during races? There's no rhyme or reason to it. Uh, sometimes it's just, oh, where can I get to quickly? Where can I find a uh, shot? Where's comfortable to shoot? Do I like the English weather? If it's nice, yes. Have I got any traffic tickets? Yeah, I got one last year, not this year. But I might have damaged the hire car on the last one. Just a little bit. God knows what that's going to cost me. Eldon, sometime, well, I don't know, sometime next week, I think, unless they relax the laws earlier for quarantining or moving around. I'm an, a West Coast Eagles ex-sponsor. AB does stuff, so I tend to follow the Eagles, but look, I haven't watched a game in years. Why can't you extend your Schengen visa? There's no way to do it. It's not even a thing. Sprint qualifying to give better shots? Yeah, I think there'll be more on it, rather than just running around some of the, half the time, they're running around at half speed anyway in practice sessions. 70 to 200, Stephen, is the answer to your question. What was this one? If Mercedes manages to win the Constructors' Trophy again, do you suppose they would ever send Angela to the podium to collect it? Oh, maybe. Maybe she's a team member. Yeah, it could be on. Can you shout out my mate Vaughn? He's your biggest fan. He loves his Hamilton photo book. Vaughn, I'm delighted you love your Hamilton photo book. You need a Stay Passionate t-shirt or a bucket hat. Get one. In fact, I've got some Stay Passionate, I think that's what it's got written on it, on, or just my logo, uh, on face masks coming to me shortly, which I'll be wearing and posing with them for my Instagram page. Where do I get my energy from? Uh, Coke, ham and cheese. I love ham and cheese sandwiches. And I, I had a great ham and cheese toasty on the flight to Austria, and I would go through that in my travel video. Really surprising to get a great toasty on a, on a plane. So how come Ricardo do these races being an Australian? Because he's got, an, he's got a different passport. He's not on an Australian passport, I don't think. And he's probably got a work permit. And he's, well, for a start, he's a Monaco resident, so he's got a Monaco um, visa. Ham and cheese right now. Yeah, Lauren, I don't mean coke, as in drugs. Did you hear the anthem? Yeah, with the drums? I was right next to it. And in fact, I was, I got some nice pics of Lando and Max having a chat. Stuff I haven't put up anywhere yet. The rock band anthem crap. I have got some interesting shots of Lando's face while that was being paid. It looked like he was holding back laughter. Hello, Mark. You love me, that's nice, nice to be loved. Yeah, there's lots of F1 circuits I haven't been to, uh, but I've been to quite a few as well. I am tired, Fausta. 
and I, that's why I'm not doing a video today. Instead, I'm doing this because these are one hour of ease. And of course, uh, you can become a member if you haven't already done so. And if you want to buy some of my images, I've got them available as NFTs. So you actually own the digital version of them. You can buy and sell it down the track, trade them. Um, sold five, I think, already, and there's another handful to go. Do I know any F1 YouTubers personally? No, no, not F1 YouTubers. Like the video guys. Yes, thank you, Arnav. He's um, good, good promoter. 234 likes now. Let's go for 300. No more uh, planning on doing reviews of any edits. That was just a one-off thing. Although somebody did send me a nice one the other day that looked markedly different from the original. So please hit the like button now. It doesn't cost you anything. It's so simple to do. See, look at it race up now. You hit the like button. There's 394 of you on here and a lot of you haven't been here for a long time. So bang, hit that like button, please. What day will you be getting to Silverstone? Don't know, sometime next week. Any circuit you have not, and we can't go to the track before Thursday anyway. We can go for our COVID test, but we have to leave straight after. You'll get wallpapers with any membership, yes. What did you think of the race? Uh, I was listening to it and there was a bit of interest. Uh, I liked the interest in would Fernando get George? That was exciting because at that stage I'd stopped shooting because I was down uh, waiting for Park Ferme and every time they'd come around I'd see how close it was. And it was, it was great to be that close to the action and to know what was going on because the first four races I never had the audio feed in my ear and when we do get the audio feed it is 30 seconds, 40 seconds delayed and that's a real pain in the ass. So if we're, if I'm in front of um, a TV screen and a speaker like I was at a couple of spots, I'm better off taking the earplugs out, listening to the live feed that comes over the PA because I get instant um, advice. Going back to your questions been a bit of a lull here. Head to Wembley for the finals. Can't go out. We can go to the hotel we're staying at and we can go to the track. A, B and the road between, that's what we're allowed to do. We can't go A over here to the football, down here to the coast, go shopping at Harrods. No, you go A, B, A, B, A, B and then to the airport and leave and get the hell out of the joint. No one really dislikes being photographed, none of them. Lewis was actually very Chatty, well, Chatty he said hello to us on the way in on Saturday, Sunday, and that doesn't happen. I can't remember the last time he did that. He's enjoying it. Um, earliest memories of Formula One. Mm, it would have been in Adelaide when I was living there. I probably, oh, I went with a mate of mine and we sat in the rain one day in a stand. It wasn't very nice, but uh, that was probably one of my earliest memories. Uh, constant traveling tiring yeah I don't like packing up that stuff in my suitcase and I don't know I got everything in for the trip to Austria but I couldn't get everything in on the trip out of Austria so I had to get a second bag does Lewis seem more stressed no he does not seem more stressed he seems a bit more open and happier that's my read on it mainly because of the stuff he's doing with the fashion coming into the track each day it's a bit like his catwalk he does the catwalk. But I don't know how he's going to go in Silverstone because he'll ride a bike in. Who's the driver that no longer races in F1 that you miss the most? Nico. Saw him too. The last race, not the one we just had, the one prior. Went up and took his photo. He was doing some commentary for Service TV uh, up between turns three and four. And he has braces on his teeth now. And of course, he's going to be a father because Egg is pregnant, and that was two bombshells in two weeks. Raiders is uh, probably in Southeast Asia or Australia, because it is night time there. Because uh, it's not night time here, it's 3.01 p.m. Rossberg or Hulkenberg? Hulkenberg, Tom. I think Nico will return sooner or later to F1. Do you think so? I'd like to see him back, but I don't think so. Fingers crossed though, fingers crossed. Melbourne, there you go, Raiders. Loving your travel tips. Glenn, I had to work long and hard for the last one. I didn't have anything to draw on. Next travel is to England. Hello, Philippines. Yes, Lewis complimented Lando, that was nice. 
Tom Hulkenberg, yes. And who do you, th how do you think F1 drivers do after retirement? Anyone missing racing? Uh, I imagine it's a fairly big adjustment to make. And I did see Gerhard Berger there on the weekend, and he was with a woman, pretty woman, and they were walking into the paddock, and I photographed her, and he had his arm around her, and she had her arm around him, and I thought, oh, it's a lovely relationship. And I looked up his wife's name, and I thought, at some stage, oh, perhaps I'd just say, hi, are you, and I think it's Anna, uh, just to make sure. And I'm glad I didn't, because no, they split up seven years ago, for those of you who follow their relationship, and it's been a rather acrimonious divorce, still going, I believe, and this is a woman called Helene, who is in my Women of the Paddock post today. But could have ended up with egg on my face there if I'd opened my mouth, huh? Compilation of all travel tips. Well, I've already got a one compilation travel tip video, and I'll do, as I fill up enough, I'll do them as they go on in the season. That's a funny story, yeah. You've got to be very careful what you say, because you can make a fool of yourself. And I do often. I go out on a limb. Never seen Seb's wife or children. I've seen his father and I think his mother. Do a height comparison video, yeah. I did one last year, so it won't be hard to pull that stuff out and just add a few people. And I can tell you, Yuki's down the bottom at the short end. You're working, Som 28. Good on you. Can't do two things at once, though, so I'm delighted I got some of your attention. Friendliest dad in F1. Well, I loved, well, I, I get on well with Joe Ricardo, obviously, but I loved Nico's dad, a beautiful bloke. And I remember seeing how distraught, heartbroken he was late in 2019. Uh, I think it was in Brazil, because my wife was with me at the time. Yeah, we, we, we love him. He's a, just a tremendous fella. And Jean-Jacques, Pierre's dad, beautiful guy. Uh, are we talking about dads or parents? And his mum's also lovely. I saw them coming out of the grandstand in Monaco. Just fluke seeing them. I got a lovely shot of the pair. Uh, oh, actually, that's, that's a funny story, and I'll put that in my video. Oh, I won't let you on about that, but Lawrence Stroll... That's the cue when you watch my video. That's what I'm alluding to here. Why did you start doing photography? Well, I got bored in Lancelin. I thought I'm gonna be in this little country town every weekend. I might as well enjoy myself. Well, it's an enjoyable place, but I'm able to have a hobby and that was to be photography. And then it sort of lent, uh, got a little bit more exciting. Yeah, I see Norbert Vettel occasionally, but yeah, obviously he speaks German and I speak basic German, so I don't really chat with him. And I got excited about ph photographing Lancel and the surrounding area. And then um, I got into wildlife, and then I got into this. Cranking, thank you for that, Mitchell Booth. I want a million subs, don't worry about that, because a million subs would be very nice in terms of revenue and uh, impact. <laughs> I don't know, are they gonna have the orange in Spa, yeah, they do that on the at the after Eau Rouge going down to what is that? Le Cops, is that what it is? Which I love shooting, and I have an absolute glamour shot there that I, I know I can get. Which laptop? I use this one to MacBook 15 inch, the best one you can get. Who will win this year? It'll be Max and Red Bull. That's what you should put your money on. Unless something goes horribly wrong. Which track do you find the hardest to photograph? China, just can't find a shot there. Everyone does the same shots. That bloody reflection shot of the grandstand at the end of the long straight. And I'll tell you how we do that. If it's not wet, we just get bottles of water and pour it in there and fill it up. It's, it's pretty easy to do. You're still backing Lewis, are you? Okay, well, well, it'll be an interesting game. And I really hope it comes down to the last race. Wouldn't that be great? Most heartbreaking F1 moment you've photographed. Oh, can't remember. Nothing comes to mind straight up. I don't know. Oh, yes, I do. I bought, somebody's asked about F1 team merch. I bought a red Ferrari jacket for my son. 
And he wore it once, and it was about 150 euros, I think. I'm a diehard Max fan. Good for you, Shanky. What do I think of the race in Saudi? I think it's going to be fascinating. I hope at that stage we can move around the city. I'd like to video what goes on out there. Yes, I was at Spa in the media centre when uh, Antoine Hubert died, and we all just stopped, and there was this big gasp, and we, a couple of the other guys had the crash because we saw it the live and then they didn't replay it and then someone found it on the net and they were looking at it and uh, it was very evident once you saw that that it was savage and then I remember when I drove out because you get a media bus that takes you to the car park and we have to drive over the track and we could see up the hill and there were just so many emergency vehicles and flashing lights and this was a good oh, 90 minutes maybe two hours after and uh, it was very clear that um, there wasn't going to be a good outcome. Uh, although I did feel the same way when I was watching that game in Baku on television. The um, was it with Ericsson, Christian Ericsson? Forgive me if I've got his name wrong. Um, yeah, I really thought that was all over for that poor fella. But a great result there, and I, I think he's doing okay, isn't he? What happened to your son's jacket? It's hanging up in one of my wardrobes. Did you ever see Santa race? Yes, I saw him in Adelaide. And in fact, somebody's offered me a, a library of F1 photos that's quite extensive and it has a lot of Senna stuff in it and I may well buy that, I don't know, we'll have a look. Certainly negotiate over it. Clone Trooper, you've been ousted by James. Good job James, James Coyle. A few more minutes to go. Given the ease of restrictions lately by FA, well, we don't know if we can get in the paddock. They will tell us when it's okay and let's hope that that is at some point. Because, well, you know what, at the moment, our work days are pretty cushy because I do three hours or four hours sometimes of driver arrivals, then you do the race sessions, and between sessions we'd normally go back into the paddock for an hour, but don't have to do it because can't. Which 2021 livery do I like the most? The Gulf Oil McLaren was a standout winner. Got a nice hotel in the UK? No, no such thing out in that area. It's dismal, horribly dismal. 300 for an Ilman, yeah, okay. Anyone wanna pay 300 for a, an Ilman worn Ferrari jacket? My wife will bring it over in, uh, I'll sign it for you and give you a picture from my ProStar Picks library. Yes, it's an F1 red Ferrari team jacket Worn twice, once by my son and once by me. Do I think FIA will make all teams get vaccinated? Uh, there might be a liberty thing with, with that in terms of it pinges upon people's liberty, but it would be good. And remember, it doesn't stop you getting it. It doesn't stop you um, passing it on. It just means that you're not going to get violently ill. So it just becomes like a normal flu. What did I think of Toronto? I liked it. What I saw, and bear in mind I only saw about a kilometre in a radius of a kilometre from the hotel, and I'm not sure I'll see much more of this place, but it was very hot. There was a shopping centre right across the road, and really nice people, well dressed. Uh, everyone was out at night, enjoying themselves. Yeah, it was an impressive place, and a place I'd never ever thought I would go. So in quiz questions, when I'm asked for the capital of Albania, I know it intimately. Uh, what have I got here? I hope this question is... Uh, is shooting F1 financially profitable? When you watch my video, when you become a VIP member, you will know how it all works, because I'll do a video about that at some point, just for my VIP members. So join up, and uh, you'll be promoted. Once it's produced, it'll be sent. Which livery looks good, Mercedes? Uh, neither, neither in dull light and in bright light, probably the Aston Martin's better. Buckingham has some good hotels. Okay, thank you for that. Um, does, what's that? I think a more vibrant green would be nice. Mm, uh, the, the cars that look good photography wise are the McLarens and the Ferraris and the Alfa Tori. Really nice. Just 
pleasing colours. And you know what? It also helps with uh, focus on the cameras because there is such contrast between the blue and the white of the Alpha Tauri and uh, between the red and the white of the Ferrari. But Lewis, fan, nothing personal, just someone else's turn. Rightio. What's your favourite drive to photograph? Drive? Driver? Mm. The ones that get me the best results on Instagram. Or the driver that... Oh, look, I, I like Alex Albon. I've, he does very well for me on Insta. And he came in the other day and there was only a couple of us shooting and he looked straight down my lens and gave me a pose and a, you know, one of these and did really well. I had a chat with him going out of the track the other week. We talked about uh, him getting... Uh, his girlfriend has trouble with visas which I don't, thankfully, because being Australian, we're pretty much invited everywhere. It's great. And sometimes I forget how lucky I am because I've, there's a, a very good um, photographer called Evgeny Safronov, Russian, but he can't go to every race because the drama for him to get out of his country, yeah, it's, that's right, Lily Shanky is her name. She's a lovely girl. In fact, I interviewed her for my Wives and Girlfriends video going back a year ago. But Evgeny won't know if he's allowed out of the country until he's at the airport. And some person can, at the airport, go, bang, no, nah, you can't go, which is a pain in the bum. Hola, Marcos. Do you think a dark green base with a lime accent? No, I think if they want impact, they should go back to pink. As crazy as it looked, it was impactful. Do you think Kimmy going to retire this year? Yeah. Do you protect the camera gear when it rains? Yes, I have um, some wet weather kit that I take to every race, and I think I've only used it once. How's the COVID situation in Perth? Oh, there's a handful of cases, and everyone's running crazy. Got to stop eating and lock down and all sorts of bullshit. Yes, I watched all the episodes of Drive to Survive with great enthusiasm because I know most of those people and work with a lot of them. Uh, and the guys that shoot it are brilliant at what they do. No, I don't agree, Subin. I like the Ferrari livery. It just pops for me. Where did you photograph the race start? I went to uh, Turn 1 and I went right up to the tower and I originally got my 600mm lens out and thought I'll shoot 600 and be tight. And then I thought, oh no, because if there's something happening, I won't see the whole field. So I changed back to a 300mm. Well, it was actually a zoom. And um, yeah, it's got some ordinary photos, nothing special. Lando to Merckx to replace Lewis. Calling it, are you? Yeah, well, that's three years away. Could be Lando and George, you think? Who's your favourite driver? That's what I want to know. You want to know mine, but who's yours? Yes, I am uh, keen to photograph Raj, the new format at Silverstone. Did you photograph the crowds? Yes, go on to ProStarPicks.com and look for fans, and you'll see all of my fan pics. I think they should bring back the German GP, Hockenheim or Nürburgring. I wouldn't mind going to the Nürburgring. I've got, I've got a couple of friends up that way I'd like to catch up with, and I've not been that way. And I also believe that Germany has a deal. Oh, no, that may not be the case. Might be something to do with a visa there. But anyway, I'm not 100% sure. You can't be taking a punt in this game. Pierre Gasly, flame, flame, flame. When it rains, do the pictures you get outweigh the pain? Uh, yeah, especially if you get some action there. It has the p potential to game over. It has the potential to, I'll say that. Lando Norris says Lone Ranger. Yeah, Lando's great to photograph. Breath of fresh air. And I hope he doesn't change, you know, because I speak to some guys about Lewis and they say, going back years ago, he was just great and really approachable. And then obviously the pressure, I imagine, of being so popular, everyone wanting a piece of you becomes too much and you go, no, nah, I'm not going to play the game anymore. And fair enough, because unless you're in that situation, it would be very hard to know what that is like. Russell, George Russell to Aston because they're about to drop huge bucks on him. Do you think so? Is the Red Bull ring covered by orange flare yesterday? Yeah, it was a fair amount of it around. Uh, yeah, I'd like to see Daniel as world champion, but apparently you can only have one world champion every year. And he won't be this year's, and I'm not sure what the next few years hold for him. 
He has um, put his money into the bucket of the McLarens and they've got a reasonable car and hey, maybe they continue to improve and give him a car that um, he's got a shot with. But then of course he's got to get over Lando. At the moment, he's behind Lando. Daniel won't retire until 2025, thank you for that. Yes, more photographers in Austria, definitely, and a lot of more locals. How was the atmosphere yesterday at the race compared with Monza? Nothing like Monza. Mon Mon well, similar to Monza, but they're crazy in Monza. And I don't think, are we gonna have fans in Italy? Does anyone know? I guess it's probably a little far away now to tell, but um, yeah, see, it wasn't a full house either in uh, Austria. There were still seats free in those stands, and I don't know whether that was by design or just by happenstance. What do you think about the amount of penalties handed out? Well, as the day wore on, I got word of more and more. Interesting, and I've seen a lot of stuff on social today. Yeah. <laughs> um, my pleasure, Alan. Glad you're enjoying them. Who's my favourite couple to photograph? Hmm, I have very few photos of Kimi and Mintu. That's a bit like finding gold, panning for gold. If I was in the paddock, it would be a different matter, but Kimi, Vettel, and the two Haas drivers all went to the other gate. So I never got one photo of those four guys arriving into the track in both races. Or maybe Vettel once came up my gate. But you wouldn't forego 15 drivers to get five, especially when they're those five drivers. Best country I've been in this year. Oh, I really liked Albania. I thought that was interesting. Do you listen to the commentary? Yes, I listen to the BBC commentary via uh, the headphones, and I really like... I noticed that one of the guys has gone from last year. Jolie and I love. I love his candid nature and his openness. And who's his counterpart? I thought he was great. And Sergio Perez's sister was at the race and she was, uh, or during quali, she was in the grandstand opposite the main, um, uh, opposite Red Bull's garage, but I couldn't find her. And she had a Mexican fa flag, and that's another thing for my video, Mexican flag, Paula. Couldn't see it. Actually, hang on a second. Hang on a second. I wonder, I wonder something. Just give me a second here. Wouldn't this be remarkable? Shit, shit. This is incredible. This is incredible. I'm sure that's her and she came down to say hello. Thank you very much to whoever that was Far out, I didn't put her in Women of the Paddock. That is so bizarre. That is a story for my video. Paula Perez. And I'll tell you the whole story here. What have we got? Yeah, I can do it. I've gone a bit over, bugger it. I was, I never ever go to the swipe gates between FP1 and FP2 because I am um, normally editing. I'm blown away by this story, by the way. Uh, so I go down there and I see Luis Alvarez, who's Checo's brand manager, come out and he's got a Mexican flag. And I said, what are you doing? He goes, I'm going to take this to Paula. She's over in the stand. And uh, I said, oh, where's she sitting? Oh, roughly this area, I think. And um, he gave me a little bit of a brief. So come the last section, Q3 of Quali, I go down there and I'm looking in the stand and I can't see her. And I looking for this Mexican flag and no joy. So I say to him that day, I had no luck finding her. Oh, okay. So this was Sunday before the race. And I thought she was waving to a photographer next to me. And I said, who's that? And he goes, I don't know. I thought she was waving at you. I said, no, I don't know her. So anyway, I took two, set, two photos and then you, one of you, your comments caused me to realize who that was. That is bizarre. I'm now going to um, tag her and I'll send her that picture because she's a lovely girl. And I shot her many years ago in China in 2017 in the paddock and she had her helmet. It was my very third race and she goes, 
I said, oh, what, who's helmet? Oh, that's Checo's. Oh, who's Checo? Checo Perez. Sergio. Yeah. Oh, do you know him? Oh, my sister. Oh, bloody hell. And I've got another picture of her too. Let's go back and I'll show you the second one. Oh, that is such a bizarre story because I thought she was very glamorous looking. Where's, and here she is standing up. Far out. That's a funny, funny story. Look at this. There's the second photo of her. Oh, I feel right goose now, but I'm happy that I've solved my mystery. Which team do you think will profit from the new regulations? No idea. It's all technical stuff. Ask me about people and um, sisters of drivers. You'd think I'd know that. And, oh, I'm so thrilled. I'm going to send Lewis a little note now. What country would you like to see a race in one day? Oh, where, 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 where? Nothing comes to mind. Uh, motorsport media, I don't avoid sensor dust spots because I now have to find somebody and, and help me, please. I need someone to clean my sensors on my cameras here in Bucharest. Do you know a great camera shop that has a good technician that can clean my sensors? Please, I'm begging you, I'm begging you. Uh, I'm glad you love my content and I'm glad I solved the mystery. Now, I'm pretty sure I did not put her in Women of the Paddock. And now, because I had 11 people and I decided I better drop one out and technically she wasn't in the paddock. So I thought, well, I probably can't put her in, but how, no, I don't clean them myself because to do it properly, you have to know what you're doing and you can make an awful mess of it and make it worse. Radio, did you say Bucharest? Yes, I did say Bucharest. Anyone know? Do mine myself, yeah? Are you in Bucharest? <laughs> uh, I need someone who's good. Dominican Republic, no, I can't get them over there. Yeah, I am missing the Australian GP because I want to go home for, um, even if it's just for a week. Okay, people, thank you very much for your company today and for whoever it was that caused me to work out that mystery, and I did it live on my vlog, so well done to you all. One last question, right, from a member. And quickly join up as a member if you want to ask a question. Come on, a member, thank you, picture, pictured AV world. No, I won't, I won't waste any more of your time. You're busy people, so thank you very much. Ciao, bye bye.